So, welcome you to our SME talk and on the verge of the European election, which is few weeks ahead of us, we have today with, our, with us uh, Dr. Paul Rubik, who Hello. is the president of the SME Europe and he is the entrepreneurial spirit of the European People's Party. Dr. Rubik, since 23 years you are a member of parliament and what motivated you to find and to develop the SME Europe? I'm coming out of family business and family business is always nice to have because you learn uh, from your parents Yes. Uh, and then I came to Brussels and I've uh, seen that uh, for small and medium sized enterprises uh, there is no real lobby so okay. I thought it's good uh, to be a spokesman for these uh, activities and uh, I had the idea to make a own uh, group called SMA Europe uh, and we started uh, three people and then pretty quick uh, we grow into a dimension that we are really now well known on Brussels level and that we can fight for the interests of SMEs. Mm -hmm. So it is all about the SME community in Europe and definitely they are um, doing a lot of good work for us, they are creating jobs, they are developing a strong fundament in our society and definitely when we discuss different topics about SME Europe, mm -hmm. uh, we always say it's a long way to go. However, the European Union have also achieved few things. How would you like to make us aware of this? Yes, we have achieved uh, a lot of things. Uh, you know, I started with a competition innovation program, uh, which then was growing up to the uh, so-called uh, program for SMEs, co-SME program. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now it's an Invest uh, EU program. So we started more or less from zero and uh, now we are in the dimension of 650 billion euro. So uh, I think Europe has to invest not only within the European Union, okay. uh, we have to do a lot of more investments outside of European Union. Yes. Uh, and SMEs should be the main uh, part of this investment uh, because return on investment and uh, tax paying uh, situation is quite good mm -hmm. at SMEs. SMEs uh, pay 80% of the tax. So uh, I think family business is the best uh, place yes. uh, to first of all reduce taxation mm -hmm. and give uh, investment a better chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So bringing common interest groups together. Um, for um, innovation is a very important uh, word. I mean not only uh, for startups but also for established business. Entrepreneurs would like to grow and develop themselves to be competitive. So you have been doing a lot of work on innovation. Please share with us some of them. Yes, at least uh, we had now the Horizon 2020 program and uh, especially in Horizon 2020 we took, we took care on SMEs. The 20% of the 80 billion budget yes. uh, is going into the direction of the SMEs. And now with the new program uh, which starts uh, next year, uh, we have hopefully 120 billion, so 50% more, uh, and the area of innovation will play a key role. So the innovation uh, and uh, growing up of SMEs uh, will have a key uh, role in this new uh, Horizon Europe program. Okay. And we are very proud that this program will help us uh, to invest not only within European Union, as I said, but especially in least developed countries, in the rural areas, mm -hmm. Uh, and the focus is on family business, on SMEs. Okay, thank you very much. So what will be your message for the 26th of May? Uh, the most important uh, message is that everybody has to vote. Absolutely. But it's not enough that everybody votes. I think we should uh, uh, be sure that our family, everybody goes to the vote, yeah. that our friends, in the clubs, uh, in the companies, wherever we are, uh, definitely we yeah. want to live in a stability, we want to have a democracy and uh, at least we have to invest, we have to vote. So if you love democracy, go to vote on the 26th of May. Thank you very much Dr. Rubek. Thank you so much. Yeah.